stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And the tools are all free. That's what makes it. I know. Yeah. All these things. All these things are free. You're kind of just scratching the surface. Yep. All this stuff. We go a long, long way on free stuff. Yeah, it's great. I'd like to talk to you about creating your own root cert. That I'd like would, to give a talk at Mug. Yeah, I would love to because I have my I have my own server at home. Yeah. Is every time I try to connect to it, you have to say, "Oh, yeah." You get, it's the, you get the warning and from then, the browser, yeah. and yeah. soon that's going to be re- Chrome's making it harder and harder all yeah. the time to to do anything about that. Um, Can't you press OK anymore? They're going to be. Uh, yeah, and if you're doing anything with with WebSocket underneath. Uh, WebSocket, there's no way to say okay. WebSocket will refuse to talk if it's not a valid cert. Mm-hmm. So, because that's how I run my own cloud over SSL. <coughs> so I'd love to set that up. Yeah, so then you just install the root CA on your laptop in, in your browser and it's fine. Yeah. And you don't pay anything to anybody. Well, if you know anybody at Mug that can set you up to do a presentation. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or well, if you want to volunteer to come into the, MD Log and do one. guys to do it. What I really want to do is write up a paper on it and then, and then present that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. By the way, if you don't know, this is Jim McQuillan. He's the president of Mug, which is the Michigan yeah. Users Group. M-U-G. Yeah, They've been president for, what, 35 years? <laughs> <laughs> About, I don't know, 12 years or so. So MUG is another organization in the area that has yeah. presentation material, and they're a bigger group, so they'll they have a, a real room, you know. And yeah, we <laughs> meet we meet the second Tuesday, so our next meeting is next Tuesday in Farmington, at the Farmington Community Library. That's awesome because it's right down the street from you. So yeah. this this group, uh, the FEMA, are, are you meeting on a regular basis? Is it all over the internet that you're collaborating? Um, or? Yeah. So there's a lot of people around the Wayne State area. And then one of the co-founders lives out, and she goes everywhere in Chicago. So we do a lot of virtual meetings all the time. Yeah. It's a lot of virtual meetings. You said you have an IRC channel? Do you yeah, we do. Uh, we just made it, right? Yeah. So yeah. it's we're, we're starting, yeah. It's great. And I want to make a mailing list, too. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but uh, we're getting off the ground. Do you, so, um, yeah, this know? server that's... Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The server that's running your, your website, is that, like, is that the same that's in your... House or do you have no, house so the, the website itself is hosted um, remotely, and then femur.teamfemur.org points to my server at home. Yeah, great. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, most hosting providers have a mailing list built into their web. Their oh, mail really? Server. Okay. So, like, I have A2, and it's just a click, create a, a mailing <coughs> list. Yeah. And the reason I have it set up like that is because this, it's a, femur is Java, so this, the hosting service wants more money to run to host a, a Java <laughs> Linux-based <laughs> server, right? So the, the web page is just static, and I can throw that yeah, up there, and then yeah. I just host this one on my server at home because yeah, I'm not yeah. paying an extra 30 bucks a month. To, right. But, yeah, I can go on there and put a .NET server on there, and they won't charge you anymore. Right. <laughs> Plus, there's something about having a system at home on the net. Yeah, right? It's cooler that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's also nice. You can because uh, or you can run your own. You're encrypting everything at home, mm-hmm. so yep. you have more power. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you learn more that way too, right? So sure. I've, I've got my own Linux server, and what I'm kind of a pipe do you have coming into your house to serve all that? Um, I mean, it's not that much. I've got a 60, 60 down and five up. It's enough. Yeah. It's not bad. yeah. And they don't yell at me for opening um, any ports. Yeah, <laughs> and they they haven't changed my IP address yet, and I haven't paid the extra ten bucks for a static IP address, so I'm pretty happy right now. <laughs> yeah. Since you're running a Java app, oh, sorry. no, go ahead. Uh, since you're running a Java application, how do you deal with uh, managing that? Like when you if you reboot the server or you um, up, uh, get a new jar to deploy, do you use Tomcat or something, and do you proxy that through? Uh, I a real use server? the Play Framework has this thing called Activator. Um, and what Activator does is it starts up Netty, which handles the HTTP requests, okay. and it starts up the application as well. Um, so the way I've got it set up now is that any time there's a change made, I pull down the code from Git, and then I use Activator to start the server. So when I pull the code down, it automatically yeah. compiles everything. Okay. That's kind of my local workflow. Yeah. Um, there's things like Heroku and and all that, but Heroku wanted money as soon as you wanted to put a data put a database, I think. Yeah. Sometimes with your uh, DNS, like I don't know if it's your hosting that does your DNS for your website, but you can use uh, 
a, a dynamic DNS yeah. client. So your server would send out, hey, this is my current public IP to the DNS <coughs> server, yeah. and then it automatically updates the name for you. It's like I use a service. Interesting, because I have to go through cheap. DynDNS.org. DynDNS is one. You have to pay for that now. Oh, do you? But I have uh, Namecheap, and um, I, I just do my normal uh, domain registration. Mm -hmm. And one of those options, you can either use their uh, DNS the servers, records. use your hosting DNS server, or yeah. or you can do a dynamic DNS. I'm using the. What would be the benefit of switching from a host using the hosting service to using the DynDNS? The, yeah. Well, it just for your home one, because yeah, yeah. what you would do is you would set up, like, say you have records, mm -hmm. you know, you, you set your your HTTPS and your or your HTTP and your mail and your goes to your hosting server, right? And then whenever you have your femur at dot your subdomain, yeah, you would say use this dynamic um, DNS connection, and that dynamic and it would be a, a was a DYN client. When you say dynamic, you're saying because because yeah. your IP address is not static. Got it. So yeah. if your IP address if it ever changes, changed, I have a problem. But this takes yeah. care of that. that Got it. it. Yeah, we do it automatically. So it's kind of so like broadcasting. Yeah. yeah. Every five okay. minutes, it it so checks back cool. to your DNS server. Says this is you know it has my IP changed. Nope. And then it doesn't update. So that's how you get around paying the ISPs ten bucks yeah, to and, uh, the static a address. Lot of the, <laughs> yeah, a lot of the browser <laughs> software will. Because really, you get a DHCP request and response on your router to your to your uh, Comcast or whoever you're using, yeah, right to your ISP, and just that action of, of uh, getting a new IP address can trigger a Dyn DNS or a oh yeah uh, okay. So if you you know look at, I don't know what you've got for a router, but if uh, you might be able to just configure that to point to a dynamic DNS service. You just use your Bright House. Or they give know? me a router. Even yeah. that might. You, you might be able yeah, to, they might. If if they give you access to the router, I do. I, okay. I do. I have. Uh, yeah, then look for yeah, something like Dyn DNS. I always wondered what Dyn DNS was, cause, yeah. but I didn't realize it was because the Dyn part makes sense now. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah. it's just uh, it'll broadcast the that your IP address has changed, and it'll update the DNS records on your cool uh, on your on whatever whatever yeah. whatever name server, service you yeah. use. Mm -hmm. So you're saying it costs money now, right? It wasn't I guess Dyn DNS started DNS charging. Oh, yeah. But there's others. Yeah, there was there was no another one, one I was using, and every six months you just had to tell them, yeah, I'm still using it, and then they yeah. would refresh That's how they used to that they stopped uh, with Dyn DNS. Yeah. There's a there's a couple other that are free to use, but then you use their own their domains. Mm -hmm. So it, it would be like FEMA oh, right. at noip.com. Okay. Or yeah, you don't want things that. like that. But yeah, that's right. where Namecheap. Uh, that's where I register with the, it's and. That has built in, so that's really nice. And at some point, just you'll, you'll just get a static IP address. Yeah, right. yeah. Once it gets at some static, point, popular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Once you go from two thousand to four thousand, <laughs> there yeah. you go. Maybe yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> we get getting good with a couple of the admins over at Wayne State, and they can yeah. host it. Maybe yeah, they just host it there in their data center for you. Yeah. 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 So Figure it out eventually. Yeah. The ArchWiki has a write-up on all of these different services. Does, does it? it? Yes, it does. Interesting. Nice. Okay. The, the Arch, the Linux distro? Yes. The Arch, okay. Their, their Arch, entire Arch. documentation is community driven. It mm -hmm. is it's beautiful. Wow. Huh. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. We have a whole presentation on Dyn DNS sometime. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to, you probably could get it hosted away pretty easily. Just saying. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah, we've covered like 20 different technologies that would be interesting to, you know, I know every Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of technologies that we're just discussing. Yeah. 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 We'll take yeah. this as an example and say, okay, let's break this down piece by piece. I tried to do a, like a brief overview of <laughs> right. technologies. Yeah. You could have gone for hours on either one of those. Right. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, we do have another 15 minutes, so we can continue with the questions and answers on this. Or well, PenguinCon's coming up at the end of the month. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to talk two about PenguinCon a little bit. Like yeah, two weeks. Yeah, I'm gonna, thank you very much again. Thank you. Awesome.